Good morning. So here is the situation. Rowan is starting four days a week at his <laughs> childminders <laughs> this week. Today is Wednesday. It is the first Wednesday that he'll be doing a full day there. But the thing is, is that I haven't told people. Well, I have told people. I've just told them that he's starting doing four days in a month's time. So for the next month, I have a whole day a week to myself to do whatever I want with. And I am so excited and it is so needed. And this is the transition period to working four days a week that I need. So I've got treats for myself planned each day. Today I have a massage in the afternoon and this morning I'm trying a Pilates class because I haven't been able to do Pilates since Rowan started doing full days um, at the beginning of this year because it clashed with the class I was usually doing. But I found another one and we're going to give it a go and then I've got a bunch of errands and things to do. So the days are going to be taken up with like a few treats for myself that I've already... <laughs> What's up? Do you want me to take the lid off? Yeah, look. So the days are gonna be taken up with a few treats for myself that I've already planned. And then I also have my list of, yeah, of course I've got a list, of like optional to-dos because sometimes I feel like if I wake up in the morning and I've got no plans and I'm like, what the hell should I do with my day? Then that can be really unfulfilling and then I won't have a good day. So I've got a list of things of like, if you're feeling like it, if you're in the mood, you can do like any one of these things. And it's like reading, going for a run, like things like that. You know, my little inspiration reminder list of like things I enjoy doing that I don't normally get the time to do. Today is a bit of a tricky one, however, because I am gonna have to do some work. Day one and we've already failed but it's gonna make my life so much easier tomorrow. And we've had two shoot days before this already this week. So I am behind on things and thinking about the work that needs to get done and there is no time to do is stressing me out. And the goal is to not be stressed on these days and to have like a good time. So it is in my best interest to get this work done, but I'm just gonna do the bare minimum that like absolutely has to get done today and then let proper work Hannah tomorrow deal with the rest of it. But yeah, that's unfortunate. We're already stumbling at the first hurdle, but hopefully, I'm hoping that this won't happen again. There is one podcast recording that I'm having to do on one of my me days, but when you are navigating like scheduling with guests, sometimes you just have to take the hit because organizing schedules is hard. Did you get the circle stuck? Yeah. Should we help you? Oh, there it is. So I thought I'd take you along on... Oh, bye. Okay. You can get it out of there. I know you can. It's not stuck. Yeah, see? Anyway, I'm going to take you along on these self-care Hannah, life admin, there's plenty of life admin to be doing as well. Days for the next month, going to Wimbledon on one of them. <laughs> it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be fun. Today is just annoyingly stressful, but my massage is the last thing on the day, so I'll be like, do the Pilates, do the work, get myself a massage. <laughs> home pilates done it was very cool i've never done like reformer pilates before which is the weird contraption thing that looks like it belongs in a bdsm dungeon or something <laughs> i've only ever done it on the mat but i really enjoyed it so i booked myself in for another one next week on my day off ran some errands bought myself trifle that i'm now eating at 11 30 in the morning dan doesn't like trifle so oh my god it's been a while since i've eaten trifle and i just love it i love it but i now have less than an hour to do my work but i'm being kind to myself and whilst there's like so many emails that I have not dealt with the last couple of days because we've been on shoots the only thing that really needs to get done is a piece of video feedback and I'm gonna do that then I'm just gonna like wash my hands clean of work and then I'm gonna go and get my massage mm. but on my way to the massage I need to go to the post office and I need to go to the tailors to see if I can get the red dress from the big sister swap altered so I need to leave with a little bit of time to do that well I'm confident I'm confident we can get it all done so um, let's go. Off to 
go to the tailors with my dress. So that's going to have to be another one of these days because I needed to get lunch and have my box. And I'm probably going to have to go to the post office after the massage. How has time gone away so quick today? I wasn't expecting to feel rushed today and it's stressing me out. But I'm very glad I'm now just going to have a massage for 90 minutes because that is clearly what I need. Okay, package has dropped off. I managed to do it beforehand and I've decompressed. <laughs> now I'm ready for my massage. I get into a frenzy where I'm like, I don't have enough time. And then I and have too much time. So leisurely stroll. Now I've got plenty of time and I'm gonna be early and I can relax. This has been a lovely start to my month of having one day a week to myself to do what I please with. I have booked myself some more pampering for next week. I'm gonna get my nails done and I'm gonna get some waxes. Oh, don't know if that can count as pampering, but I never get to the time to do things like that when I want to do them. So we're just going for it. And I've booked the Pilates class again for next week. So I have those things in the diary and I'm not gonna book anything else. I'm just gonna then do as I please for the rest of the day. Hopefully it won't be as chaotic as today but I'm glad that we ended on a lovely relaxing massage and now I'm just heading home just gonna do a few bits relax and then go pick up my baby who's maybe a toddler now I'm not quite sure maybe he'll be a toddler by the end of this vlog because <laughs> he's not walking yet but you never know when it's gonna happen <laughs> Good morning. It is another one of my, what I'm calling Hannah days. I'm just taking Rowan to his childminders now and then going straight from drop off to Pilates. <laughs> How yummy mummy of me. Then errands, gotta go to the shops, gotta get some bits and bobs. Again, very repetitive from last week. Today is less stressy than last week, which is good. I've got some life admin -y things that have just been put off and put off. So when I get home, hopefully I can have a bit of time to crack on with those whilst watching Wimbledon. Because Wimbledon is on. And I love, I love Wimbledon. I love tennis and I love Wimbledon. When Wimbledon is on being able to just be at home and just like stick it on the TV all day on in the background love it but then this afternoon I'm going to the salon so nails and waxing is on the agenda I'm excited but also terrified I've not had a bikini wax since before my surgeries in 2018 so my last bikini wax was in 2017 and I don't know how I feel about waxing over my cesarean scar that makes me win so I don't know. Rowan's just talking to himself, having a great time. But yeah, that's the agenda for the day. It's gonna be chill. It's gonna be real chill. changed and ready to do some life admin. What fun, but sticking Wimbledon on in the background. I actually ended up getting this dress altered on the weekend. I decided to keep the length, actually, in a shocking turn of events. And actually the only bit that they were able to alter was like the seam on the shoulders. So it's a bit more fitted around the shoulders, but they weren't able to do anything about this. But actually I wore it on the weekend and it was fine. And it's a good amount of room for like putting a pump in or breastfeeding and stuff. And it doesn't look bad. So this is the outfit we're going for today. In terms terms of life admin. So after Rowan was born, Dan and I got wills sorted and LPAs. I cannot remember what LPAs stand for, but essentially it's that if you are mentally unable, then you nominate someone to be able to control your finances and like make decisions about your finances. So Dan and I 
were doing that for each other. And they came back recently, but I've not had a chance to like actually look at them and sort them. Like we got the letters and we were like, oh yeah, those are our LPAs. Okay, great. And they've just like been in a pile. You know, the classic like admin letters, like to-do list pile of admin, it's that. And then the other thing is Rowan's German citizenship. Because now that I'm a German citizen, Rowan can become a German citizen. Any future children that Dan and I have are automatically German citizens, amazing. But because Rowan was born before I became a citizen, I need to apply for him. I've got the form and everything. Months ago, I started filling it out and then got confused, had questions and then forgot about it. So I need to get that back out again, look at it and email the person at the German embassy my questions that I have. So those are the things, we'll see what happens. And then later on, I'm going out for my appointments. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> done oh my god it feels so good you know when you get stuff done that has just been like piling up for months Mwah! like a weight lifted. Unfortunately, there's been rain at Wimbledon, so I haven't actually been able to watch any live tennis, but I've still had it on in the background, just all of the commentators chatting shit about tennis. But yeah, no actual play, sad. But I've got an hour before I need to leave, loads of time, great. I'm going to pump and eat some lunch. Hopefully some tennis will start and I can watch a bit of that and just chill because that's what these days are meant to be i'm just gonna chill on the sofa eat some food watch some tennis just have a good time and then head off for the afternoon One is I'm going to the hair salon that I'm going to in a couple of weeks time to get a patch test because I'm gonna get my hair balayaged again but I've not been to this place before and also it's been over a year since I like donated my hair and chopped it up to like here before Rowan was born look how much it's grown but I fancy getting myself a balayage top up and a little trim so I need to get a patch test just to make sure that I don't react badly to the concoctions the color and all of that stuff but yeah so then the like nail and beauty salon that I'm going to as well as one that I've not been to before because I figured I would just go to ones that are in the same area and then I can smash this all out in one afternoon. I'm thinking green nails like for Wimbledon and tennis seeing as I am going next week and you know spring summery green that's what that's what I'm thinking we'll see what they have we'll see what they have I'm also gonna get a pedicure don't know what color to go there yet we shall see we shall see was vlogging and I put my glasses on my head and I maneuvered my glasses and I thought something felt weird but I didn't notice anything and then I realized one of the things had gone oh no so I retraced my steps couldn't find it anywhere but then looked in my bag my handbag which is neatly below my face open oops probably shouldn't have my bag open in London but still look what my bag caught handy so I was talking about how I was going to go to the salon early and see if they could slot me in but if not I would do some mooching in some secondhand shops around here but instead we're going to try and see if we can find a place that can fix my glasses these are maybe like the most expensive things that I own, but I have had them for about six years now. So cost per wear, amazing, but I'm not ready to say goodbye to these things yet. So let's do it. Fixed, not perfectly, because apparently they didn't have the right size screw, but good enough for now. We'll see how much longer these glasses last. I've already had to like replace the squidgy bits that go on your nose anyway. It's also now just pissing it down. I was not prepared for this. I should have known because it was raining at Wimbledon. God damn it. But it was just so lovely and sunny a second ago. Yeah, here we are. Right, I'm gonna go to the salon now. No time for mooching. the 
baby now. We really did cut it fine at the salon, but I made it to pick up on time. It's all good. Also, I went a bit extra with the nails. I thought I was just gonna go for like a grassy green for Wimbledon, but instead I got full tennis fever. And this hand is purple with a bit of green. And then the other hand, if I can show you, is green with a bit of purple. The Wimbledon colors, baby. The green is a lot brighter, but they didn't have a green that was like exactly the right tone I was looking for. But I still think these two colors are pretty cool together. I've got my toes done as well and got my waxes done. Really feeling it, to be honest. Yeah. And now we're just heading home for a normal evening. Next week is not a continuation of having a Wednesday off to myself because this is pre-booked. I'm actually going to be working on a Wednesday and instead Monday, Monday is Wimbledon day and it's due to rain currently. We'll see. But got centre court tickets, baby. That shit's got a roof, a roof. Oh my God. Can you even hear me? The wind is unreal. See you next week. Hey. <laughs> Hi. Today, I have no plans. No plans. Oh my goodness. So I was meant to be having a podcast recording this morning, but we ended up having to move that and that just cleared out my whole day. So this week, my day off is truly a day off and I'm so excited. <laughs> So after dropping Rowan off this morning, I went out and I treated myself to breakfast. So I went out and had breakfast by myself. I then went to the shops because I need to do grocery shopping and get bits and bobs. And now I've just gotten back. It is like half 10. <sighs> I like, there's the whole day ahead of me. It's glorious. I've got some more admin bits for Rowan's German citizenship stuff to sort out. And then I think the other thing that I want to do is I have got a lot of new pre-loved, new old clothes recently, either from Big Sister Swap or some charity shopping that I've done. And I want to take pictures of all of those clothes to add them to that app wearing that I'd been using. Since filming that video, I have not been like tracking the outfits that I wear every day, but I still want it as a digital catalog of my wardrobe. So I do want all of the items of clothing that I own in that app. I'm just not gonna be using it to like actually track what I'm wearing each day. This that I'm wearing now, this is a dress and this is from Big Sister Swap because if you watched that video, you'll know that I was on the fence about what to do with the items that I had that didn't fit or weren't my style. In the end, I did exchange them because I thought, let's see what they can find for me based off more information, like based off of my feedback in terms of like what worked and what didn't. And do you know what, actually? Let's go do a try on haul because, oh my God, the other items that they sent me from the exchange, they 10 out of 10 understood the assignment. Holy shit, I'm so happy with these clothes. So I have to show them off to you. Let's do it. Okay, okay, right, all right, let's do this one first. 
So this is this dress. It's just like gorgeous burnt orange color. We've got the V-neck. I think these buttons are actual buttons. Obviously I've got some just water spillages on me. We've got nice flowy sleeves. So I've got like free armpit airflow going on. And this is great. Love it. Excellent. Also this necklace I got when I went to the circle pop-up. The circle is like a pre-loved fashion website. And at the pop-up, up, they also had some like independent small businesses like sustainable businesses and this woman basically makes jewelry out of colored glass that she finds on beaches and then like sands them down and everything and this was the only orange bit of glass that she had found everything else was like very you know blues and greens which you like normally would find out of bottled glass but yeah i saw this and i was like i have to have it i'll leave a link in the description to her site but oh my god and this necklace it's just so perfect with so many of my clothes it's become like something that i just like wear day to day and as you'll see from the other big sister swap clothes it just perfectly goes with Okay, so that's item one. Item two, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Isn't it perfect? <gasps> okay, so what we have going on here is a beautiful dress. It's buttoned the whole way. And buttons on big boobs, normally a nightmare. However, something about this, like this bit, it just fits perfectly. It sits perfectly on my waist and then it like actually fits over the boobs. Look at that necklace, look at that necklace with this. Again, the airflow armpits, perfect length, just... <laughs> oh my God. This might be like the perfect dress for me. This might be it. <gasps> I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. Okay, how fun is this? It's like all multicolored like splats and it really reminds me of the dildo that I decorated but I don't think that video is out yet on my sex ed channel and um, we did some dildo decorating and this really reminds me of some of the patterns that I picked for my dildo. <laughs> But yeah, I love this. It also works with like a bit of a belt to kind of like cinch it in a bit more, but it's just such a fun, flowy maxi dress. I love a maxi dress. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And once again, the necklace, just being perfect with all of my clothes. <laughs> Da, da 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 a jumpsuit! This is actually super similar to a jumpsuit that I already own, the one that I got from Stitch Fix, but it just looks great and it fits perfect and I'm obsessed and I love a jumpsuit and I love polka dots. I think my boobs are looking pretty good at the moment, just, just putting it out there. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, and finally, ignore the uh, anti chub rub shorts <laughs> that I've got going on. This top, this blousy type thing, the pattern on it is just perfect. I mean, it's orange, yellow, and blue. It's 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 my colours. It's my colours. Look at the necklace. Just oh, I just I just cannot. But this is fab. I absolutely love this. Big puffy sleeves. It's a bit boxy, so it's kind of like like casual and loose, but I still think it kind of looks really fun and kind of good on me, even though like I'm a bit petite. But yeah, I'm into it. I'm into it. Amazing. Amazing work, Big Sister Swap. Honestly, perfecto. Yeah, and we love these shots. Okay, whilst we're on the clothes front, I'm gonna take pictures of them and other clothes that I have acquired recently and add them to my app. in the oven i bought myself a quiche whilst i was out and i'm catching up with them some podcasts and i'm gonna make some flapjacks because i love baking i have no time for baking anymore and i asked dan last night out of my baking repertoire what would he like today and to my surprise i thought he was gonna go brownies but he said flapjacks so flapjacks it is and i don't mind that because flapjacks are so quick and easy to make so let's do it <laughs>
very fast and I don't feel like I've done anything but I guess that's the point but as somebody who like loves to be productive there is an itch I'm not scratching but one of the things that I have been meaning to do for a while is sort out my like jewelry collection and good timing because one of my viewers runs this small business called Wild Clay and she makes these earrings and they're gorgeous and she sent me some previously I don't know if you've seen me wearing these in videos before these are from her and she's just like redone her website I think I have a discount code which I'll leave the info for in the description if you're like curious and checking it out a delivery came the other day and the box has just been sat here just kind of like sort it out sort it out Hannah look at look at the new things and organize them so that's what we're gonna do so I can figure this shit out I've got so much jewelry and I don't wear so much of it mostly because wearing earrings at the moment is really tricky with Rowan like he has literally yanked out studs out of my ear I've had some near misses where I thought like my earlobe was gonna be ripped out but yeah not fun but I love earrings so much this is the situation so I have this like fun tree thing and then I I have this sink and it's pretty much all full but I don't wear a lot of it so let's see and then da, 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 we've got these to go through oh my goodness I wonder if there you go there's the details Hannah 20 for 20% off your first order thank you Lydia boop, boop, boop. amazing amazing okay <gasps> look how pretty they are we have Da, 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 da. these gorgeous sunflower arches i feel like these would look really great with this dress we've got some green flowers some yellow flowers moons and more sunflowers can you tell what my favorite aesthetic is it's a bit ridiculous and then these green and yellow arches and then these like pink and yellow and orange ones so gorgeous so gorgeous some lemon studs some sunflower studs and then oh my god look at this clip okay i don't really wear hair clips this is one that like she sent as like a little bonus oh my god terrible terrible what am i doing what am i doing did i <laughs> just ignore the hair and just focus on the clip <laughs> oh dear okay i'm just gonna keep it in okay so pretty okay 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 we've got studs and clips and a ring over here these are all of the earrings that i want to keep these are necklaces i want to keep and then these are earrings that I want to keep if I can clean them. I need to do a little bit of research about like if I can get the shine back on these. These ones are shiny, but the butterfly is dirty. So I want them all shiny. And then this is the pile of jewelry that I am ready to move on from. Lots of good memories, but just never reach for them anymore and aren't really my style anymore. most perfect timing delivery just arrived i was just trying to get the flapjacks out of the tin now that they've cooled down but basically i was looking for a small size water bottle to go in my new uniqlo bag and jen campbell recommended this company and then was a very bad influence and was like oh look they've also got cake tins and so there i was buying cake tins and something for rowan's room as well on this site so that's all arrived, but it means we can put the flapjacks in my new cake tin once I get it out of the fucking baking tray. <laughs> ah, okay. I feel like I've been showing you a lot of stuff today. This is the bottle I got. Cute, adorable. I love the pattern on it. And that's gonna go in my Uniqlo bag. Oops, cake tins. Maybe this will encourage me to do more baking. Look at that, come on. <sighs> Also, yes, I'm aware that I got like butter grease all over my dress, but I will do that another time. <laughs> hey, there we go. Okay. Oh, look at that. There's another cake tin. Beautiful. Come on. Oh, and would you look at that? Another cake tin for the woman who has no time to bake anymore. Right, there isn't another cake tin inside here, but there we go. So we've got. A little green one. And then this one. And then. Chaos. Absolute chaos. Ta da! <laughs> a 
And then the thing that I got for Rowan is this height chart. Oh my God, where are we gonna put it in his room? Not sure, we'll find space. Come on, because now the baby's walking, the toddler is walking, and maybe we can get him to stand up against the wall for two seconds whilst we mark his height. And look how cute that is! Ooh. And there's some stickers. Amazing, amazing. Okay, right, anyway, let's continue to try and get these flapjacks out of this tin. Okay, absolute failure. Tried to get it out very much. A whole layer stuck to the bottom. So I'm just gonna make that Dan's problem when he gets home later. But what isn't going to be Dan's problem is dinner. Cause over the usual time that we have dinner, I actually have a work call. But considering I've got the day off, I figured I would prep dinner. So we're having fish cakes tonight. So I'm gonna like make the fish cakes, but just not cook them. So that'll be like nice and easy for us to do whilst I'm on call. Let's make fish cakes and watch some YouTube videos. And that's basically the rest of my day. <laughs> made i'm just gonna cover these and pop them in the fridge and then when dan gets back they're just gonna take 20 minutes in the oven and i have an hour until i need to go pick up rowan the only thing left that i actually need to do is pump so i am just gonna sit on the sofa and watch tv slash youtube slash whatever i fancy Good morning. Today is officially my last Hannah day. My last me day before I start my four days a week of work. And today it's been spent getting my hair cut. It has been over a year. It's so greasy right now, hence why it's up. Yeah, I'm gonna get a little trim and also gonna top up my balayage and go blonde because I internally identify as more blonde than I naturally am on the outside, even though I am a little bit blonde on the outside, but not as much as I would like. To get my hair cut and dyed requires a good few hours, and that's not something that I always get to myself, so I thought I would use one of these days where Rowan is in charge care and I'm not working to get that done. Just sit in a hairdresser's chair for a good few hours. I've got my audiobook. I'm listening to now the first Miss Bourne book in the second arc. I finished the first arc. Amazing. And I've got lunch in my bag. I've got my pump in my bag. I'm ready. I am ready.
blunder. And now I'm back home. I've got an hour and a bit until I need to go pick up Rowan. And so I've got a few little chores and bits and bobs that I need to do. I'm just gonna sit on the sofa and do them. But yeah, that's gonna be the rest of my Hannah day. But yeah, this has been good fun. Next week, I officially start my four days a week working. I think I'm gonna do a work weekly vlog for that of like getting back into like a four day working week. I'll never do five again. Can't make me. I won't do it. But yeah, thank you for watching this weird little monthly vlog where I treat myself to various different things <laughs> outside of work and outside of parenting. If you can, I highly encourage that you do the same. Hope that you're all doing well and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.